Today we learn about derivatives. Let's know the definition and characteristics of derivatives. Ah, oh, great coffee. The barrister is a genius. Thanks, mate. It's the weather, really. Still confused whether the coffee is the derivative or the weather. Higher order derivatives, are they? Derivatives in finance. The Accounting Standards Board has a characteristics based definition for a derivative. In order to be called a derivative, a financial instrument should underlie, invest, and settle an asset or a liability. So, the financial instrument will be subject to, that is, represent an asset or a liability. Interesting. A derivative is integral for the financial inclusion of the variable it underlies. That's great insight. The first characteristic. The value of the financial instrument, changes in response to a change in a variable. These variables include, specified interest rate, financial instrument price, commodity price, foreign exchange rate, index of prices or items credit rating or credit index, or other variable, provided in the case of a non-financial variable that, the variable is not specific to a party to the contract. So, once a financial instrument underlies an asset or a liability, the value of this financial instrument, that derives its value from the asset or the liability, changes in response to the change in this asset or liability. The changes are directly related, mostly. The second characteristic. It requires no initial net investment or an initial net investment that is smaller cheap than would be required for other types of contracts and efficient that would be expected to have a similar response to changes in market factors and a good substitute the third characteristic the derivative financial instrument contract is settled at a future date good luck valuing these instruments thank you